Hi, this is Mike Fauché. I'm going to talk a little bit and give you kind of an overview of the H67, otherwise known as uh, the Sandy Bridge, and talk a little bit about the board. What we're looking at here is actually a um, gigabyte. It's a um, H67 MA-UD2H. Um, it's um, pretty much hot off the press. It's not their top end board. It's about one notch down, so it's selling for the $120 range. Um, it looks fairly traditional for a gigabyte board. Um, the one obvious thing that comes up is they're redesigned to the new heat sinks, um, which are against uh, the regulators and power supply, power regulators. So those are those are uh, much more attractive than their the the prior versions. In terms of the actual socket itself, you really can't tell a whole lot of difference between the 1155 and the 1166. Um, it did. Um, there is a an obvious difference in the chipset heatsink. They've redesigned that, and it looks a lot cleaner. Um, in terms of the actual board layout, a couple of subtle differences. Um, these are now um, six giga six gigabyte ports, uh, SATA threes. Um, there's all the USBs on the on the back are USB 2.0s, and in the back panel they're USB 3.0s, and I'll show you that in just a moment. The one thing I really like is they've now put the audio header in on on the um, kind of towards the edge of the board, which is much more convenient than when they used to put it sort of in the center of the board. So I really like that. Um, you also notice it sports now the um, the uh, DX 10.1 certification logo so they um, now have better support for their graphics and DX1 or D DX 10.1 I'm sorry um, other than that it's fairly traditional layout and circuit board um, the CPU um, which we can kinda see right in here is um, pretty traditional looking the center layout is different than the its, its uh, generation 1 counterpart um, obviously there's one pin difference but I wasn't gonna go figure out which one which pin that is for the most part the center design is a little different but other than that it looks uh, pretty traditional as far as the CPU goes so that's about it um, the rest of the layout is again um, although it's slightly more roomy um, it looks to be a much cleaner layout overall with the, with the new chipset it's still fairly traditional in the grander scheme of things so that's about it. Um, let's switch over to the back panel now and give you a quick look at that. Okay, we're now looking at the back panel and we'll talk a little bit about the connectors. And again, it's it's uh, looking at the rear panel. Um, we start out starting from the from the edge here. We have two USBs and a PS2 uh, style connector for keyboard and or mouse. Um, you have the VGA, DVI. Adjacent to that, you have the Toslink, HDMI, and now we have a Display Port, uh, which is relatively new on some of the newer boards. Uh, adjacent to that is two USBs and an eSATA. Uh, adjacent to that is the uh, network connector, gigabit port. Um, below that are two USB 3.0 connectors, and then we have the standard audio configuration for 7.1 channels. Um, notice on the front of this as well, um, it now sports the uh, Dolby certification logo as well. So that's pretty much the, the layout of the board. Um, again, for in terms of constructing the system and putting the board in, refer to the, to the, um, um, the how-to videos on our site on YouTube. I'm not going to go into assembling this particular board into the case because it's pretty much the same.